What's going on, my tech-loving enthusiasts? Today, we're going to take a look at the B-Link Mini PC S13 Pro with an Intel N150, 16 gigs of DDR4, and a 500 gig SSD. Let's do the unboxing, open it up to look at the inside, do some speed tests, and you'll hear my thoughts if this system is right for you. Let's get started. The B-Link comes on a small square box with the 13th generation logo in the front, a nice big hello, a manual, and two straps to pull out the B-Link. Of course, this unit is small since it's a mini PC and measures 4.52 inches by 4 by 1.4 inches and it's only 1.63 pounds. The mini PC, which will have a power button on the front with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and two USB-A 3.2 gen ports that go up to 10 gigabits per second. That's pretty fast. Now, on the back of the unit, it's gonna have two more USB ports, a uh, one gig ethernet port, two 4K 60 hertz HDMI ports, and the power port. You're also gonna get a wall mounting bracket with screws, a power cord, and one HDMI cable. You will also have open vents for ventilation on the top rear and on the sides of the unit. G -g 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 unit. To open the unit, it's very simple to do. Just get a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws at the bottom, and pull on the rubber found at the corner to release the lid. Inside, you're gonna find one available slot for your RAM and another one for your NVMe SSD. Upgrading any of these components should be a breeze to do. It's just amazing to see how much can fit in such a little unit. Now, getting started is as simple as plugging in a keyboard, mouse, HDMI, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi, and then sign into Windows 11, which, by the way, comes included with your purchase. I ran all the Windows updates, which took a few minutes. I timed how long it would take me from powering on the unit until I was at the Windows logon screen. As you can see on my timer, it took me exactly 20.21 seconds, which is quite impressive in my opinion. After you enter your password, it only takes another half a second to be inside the operating system. Now, I have Wi-Fi 6E and 1 gig internet, and the B-Link brings Wi-Fi 6, so I wanted to do a speed test. Using speedtest.net, I got A78 for download and 865 Mbps for upload, which is almost the same as being wired with full speeds. Now, when testing with fast.com, I got the maximum speeds of 940 Mbps. And again, these are very nice speeds, and I'm hitting the maximum speed that my ISP can sell me. I also ran a wired speed test, and I got... 897 download and 890 Mbps upload. I usually get 940 Mbps, but during my test, it was during peak usage when the entire family is doing something on the web. So I'm gonna blame it on that for not getting those extra few Mbps. This mini PC is gonna excel at office productivity like web browsing, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and PDFs. Now it was time to test the most popular web browser. It quickly loaded Chrome along with going to websites like Amazon, Microsoft, Best Buy, and it opens them very smoothly. On my test, I loaded 10 tabs and overall it was a fast, smooth experience. Mwah. Now, when visiting YouTube, I tested the smoothness of 1080p, 1440p, and 4K or 2160p. 
Testing out 1080p, the video plays buttery smooth with no stuttering. When doing 1440p, which is the native resolution of my ultra widescreen, it was also the same seamless experience. I then switched to 4K and I expected some lag or stuttering. And to my surprise, the 4K video played smoothly and with zero lag or no stuttering. You also get Bluetooth 5.2. So if you have some nice Bluetooth headphones, this is a perfect match to jam or to watch movies with. Now, this mini PC will not allow you to play modern games at all. I tried to run Fortnite and the computer was crapping itself. I tried Quake 2 RTX and received an error about no ray tracing video card found. I tried Counter-Strike 2 with low resolution and no lag. It was complete lag and it couldn't handle it. You can probably run vintage or retro games, no problem but I don't own any personally to test with. If you're going to get this mini PC, do not expect to do any modern gaming. So who is this computer for? This computer is perfect for those of you who need to do schoolwork to write papers. If you need to do research or for productivity, such as running word documents and PDFs, or even if you want to throw it in a conference room computer for Zoom or Teams meetings, especially because of the small form factor, you can easily hide this behind a TV and it'll be a perfect fit for that. You'll have a smooth experience browsing the web, running your business, or watching 4K videos without an issue. I do not recommend this PC for gaming, but you're going to be very happy for productivity use. Personally, I like how small this is and it goes great next to my networking equipment and I can remote into it without needing a monitor connected to it. I hope you found value on today's video and don't forget to give this video a like and a sub to our channel goes a long way. Until next time, Ultratech out.